All right, we are going to get intimate. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to touch each other in ways that are intimate, but aren't trying to have sex. So I have noticed that my couples are often struggling with, um, you talk about affection and connection. How do we like touch each other? How do we feel close to each other? And I'll ask the same question all the time. It's like, what, what ways do you wanna be touched by your partner? What ways do you feel good? I get the same answer every time. It essentially is, whatever, you can do anything. And when you say that, I mean, do you mean like, like here, does this work? <laughs> you know, like, you kind of feel strange, like, okay, so I can just touch you anyway and you're fine. So here are just a few ideas of different ways you can touch each other intimately that feel good. And that's something I want you to keep in mind too. When you are touching your partner, you're hoping to help them feel good, feel warm, close. Those are the, those are the goals of these kinds of touches. So we'll go from head to toe. If you touch in the hair, so I love my hair. Hope you do too, but I love it. So anyhow, like if you're touching hair, then it might be exploring the hair and giving a scalp massage. Think of like what those people do when you get your hair cut and you're just like, oh, this feels great. Well, you could be doing that with each other as partners just to help each other feel good and warm and close. There could be circles, there can be, um, so for any of my ladies here who have hair like me, do not do this. That is a bad thing for hair that is textured. You go in, you rub, you come straight out. <laughs> That's very important for touching hair in a positive way. Or you can do a soft head on the top. Make sure you're getting feedback from your partner. Do you like this? Does this feel good for you? Because obviously the goal is I want you to feel good. So if you do this and your partner's like, it makes me feel like you're rubbing me like a dog, then don't do that. Like talk to each other and give each other feedback. That's for hair, rubs, circles. You can also rub each other's faces or noses. Like I know most people know about like temple rubs, but if you think of like giving face massages, you can kind of circle around the face. You can do kind of a little trace of a face. And those are all ways to kind of touch each other that feel really intimate and sexy. But even that's just, that's just the head, right? So if you're coming up to somebody and you want to touch their arms, something you can do like if they're open to it, it's like a rub down the, the arms when you come up behind them. Um, if you have a partner that's a little bit jittery, by the way, announce yourself. You can just say, hey, I'm coming up behind you. So they can essentially mentally consent to your presence there and be like, oh, okay. Because if you, if you do this thing behind somebody and they are a jittery person, then you're going to get a slap or, <laughs> you know, depending on who your partner is. But if you even come up behind them and just say, hey, I'm just coming up to cuddle you or touch you, and they can say, oh, okay, then that same feeling will be very different for that jittery partner. So there can be the arms, there can be hands. I don't know if, you, you know, if you've ever given yourself a massage with lotion, you can do the same kind of massage with a partner too, where you kind of have their hand and you trace their hand, and you trace their fingertips or, I don't know if you've ever done this, but this is something kind of playful. You just play with their fingers back and forth. So yeah, you just, you're just playing and touching the different parts of the body. And uh, that's, this is all non-sexual, by the way. This is just all sensory stuff. If you're doing legs, again, like even when you're sitting on a couch, for example, putting your hand on somebody's leg. I don't know if you can see this. So <laughs> there is a hand on my leg. It can be a straight leg. It can be um, like up, up and forth, it can be kind of a squeeze on the knee. And then thinking about even like going down to feet. Um, so well, imagine my hand is a feet the same way that I was rubbing my hands. You, you rub your hands like you're kind of playing with the toes and you're rubbing in. And so essentially what I want you guys to do if you're gonna play with this idea is try different things, but then talk to your partner and say, you know, what are the touches that you like? What are you enjoying? Uh, because then you can develop some routines around touch that are intimate and that are meant to help you feel good, but that aren't necessarily sexual. And every couple needs non-sexual affection in their relationship. All right, you've been listening to Angela Skirtu and please like and subscribe. If you would like to see me as a therapist, you can submit a contact form at therapistinstlouis.com.